the red is over your red shirt. Are you sure? Positive. Are you sure? Yes. No? Oh yeah, you're right. It did I? <laughs> you're right. This is the first time we've done this. I've never filmed a video before. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are bringing you a Christmas Q&A. We have done several, several Q&As on our channel before. But, but never has there been a Q&A full of Yuletide like it will be today. Yep, in the spirit of Christmas and Vlogmas, we asked a bunch of questions on Instagram. Got bomb bomb. We asked a bunch of questions on Instagram and if you are not following us, be sure that you're following us because we post over there all the time, lots of behind the scenes stuff. Whenever Vlogmas is over, We'll probably continue a lot of daily stuff on our stories over there. So if you've been enjoying Vlogmas, make sure that you are following us on Instagram so you don't miss out. I put a lot of hard work into Instagram, so y'all should go check us out on there. <laughs> Everybody needs to run because Jared's about to catch on fire. <laughs> liar, liar. We're only going to answer the Christmas questions because we did say that we would like Christmas questions. And we still got ones that weren't Christmassy. <laughs> like, I don't know how to be more instructive. We say, please ask us questions that we haven't gotten before. Please ask us questions that are unique. Do not ask us when we are going back to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> we get that one every single time. So grab you a cup of cheer, hang out with us for a while, and let's answer some questions. Okay, so we're gonna start off with one of our favorite people. Hey, Cammie. We met her in the parks at the Christmas party this time, and she was so very sweet. Her, her sister, and her mom. Cammie said, what is your favorite Christmas, Christmas Eve tradition? Mine is just always doing the candlelight service Christmas Eve. That's mine too, but I have two different ones. Like, when I was younger, my favorite Christmas tradition was going to my Mimi's house on Christmas Eve. It was just so magical at my mom's house. I didn't get to help her decorate for Christmas because she was like, Southern living Christmas tree decorating. Decorator. Like she wrapped every twig with light. She did it all by herself at my Mimi's house. I got to decorate and so on Christmas Eve everybody got to come over and see the decorations I had put up and it was just so magical and it was just such a fun time. Every year I would designate everybody a spot to sit and I would play Santa every year and pass out all the presents and it was just the that was always my favorite tradition as a child and now as an adult it is going to the candlelight service at my mom's church. It's just when I was younger I didn't like to do it because I just couldn't wait to get home to open yeah. presents but now I don't care about the presents and I really enjoy going to the candlelight service. Okay we pretty much got what's your favorite Christmas tradition seven billion times. Thanks Kimmy answer that for everybody. What's your favorite Christmas gift you received as a child? Ooh as a child. The one that sticks out most is definitely when I got a Super Nintendo. That one sticks out for sure. I remember getting it and playing Donkey Kong until like my fingers started to bleed I feel like. <laughs> I think the one time that I played Nintendo so much that my fingers were sore I had a blister was Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> trying to jump on the dang swing on like level nine or something. Oh my gosh. My mom saw me down the hall and she was like, are you okay in there? Because I was crying. I was like, I can't get on the swing and my thumb hurts. She was like, maybe you should take a break. What's yours? I, I loved everything and I was a very spoiled kid. I feel like I got everything that I wanted. And so I feel like all of the gifts are my favorite. But the things that stick out the most was one year I got a trampoline. And then the other one that I really liked that I got was a pogo stick. <laughs> Super random, but I remember getting a pogo stick and being so excited about it. Kind of like getting Tic Tacs. We have a home video. I got a Barbie car. I was thinking I was four and I got a Barbie car and I literally walked right past the Barbie car and went to the stocking and I opened my stocking and I got orange Tic Tacs and I was like oh my god <laughs> this is what I've always wanted. It was Tic Tacs. Forget the Barbie car. Tic Tacs. To this day what is the most memorable not favorite but the most memorable Christmas gift that you've gotten? The one from you where you bought me Saints tickets to my first Saints game. That was really fun. I wrapped it in like 7,000 boxes. <laughs> and it was like a box in a, in a huge box, box, in a box for little in a box. tickets. And that actually wrapped the tickets. Actually, I bought a thing of like Ghirardelli chocolates, wrapped that, and then opened them up and put, put them inside them, wrapped there. the tickets and put them in there. So he opened the whole box. At the very end, he had a thing of like Ghirardelli chocolates. And he was like, I was like, no, no, you gotta try one. There's just special <laughs> ones and there's tickets in it. The most memorable thing that I got for Christmas was probably my promise ring. It was actually my Mimi's wedding ring that she gave Jared and then Jared gave it to me on Christmas. How early do you wake up on Christmas morning? Now. I used to wake up, <laughs> yeah, I used to wake up like at three o'clock in the morning and go wake my parents up. They're like, you just went to sleep. <laughs> But now you have to wake me up. Like yeah. you have to wake us up. We pretty much. I think like we usually get up about ten or so. I was gonna say like nine ish probably. Or eight is usually the earliest. Yeah. Like when we would stay at Jared's parents house when we lived out of town. But now that we live in our own house, last year we woke up pretty early. Yeah, the year we did. Yeah, last year we did. But the year, a couple years before that, it seemed like nine, ten-ish. Yeah. So I think like that's good. What is the weirdest Christmas present you've ever gotten? <laughs> 
Do you know what I'm gonna say? So the weirdest, it's not really the weirdest because it wasn't weird. It was just like, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> It was whenever I Always. opened this gift from Jared's Always mom and dad, and it was like a tower heater, <laughs> like a really big tower heater. Like it looked super fancy and super expensive. It was like wooden and stuff. But like the year before, they gave us a fireplace, like a big, like our big fireplace entertainment center in the living room. And so like the next year, they gave us a tower heater. I'm like, do you think we don't have heat? Like, do you think we're freezing? So they ended up actually giving us the money for it, and then they kept it because it was just totally like I don't think I've ever had a worse reaction to a Christmas present, and I didn't mean to. I was just like. <laughs> you. I don't really need this, but thanks. One year, Brett's mom got me a tie that had peel, like pills and bottles all over it just as like a funny because she, I was in pharmacy school then. And I still have that tie, but I don't think I've actually ever worn it for anything. You might have worn it when you worked like at a retail pharmacy yeah. one time when you had to wear a tie, but yeah, other than that, I, I don't think, think yeah, you've ever I did. worn it. That's the only time I've ever worn it. Like, if you didn't know that he was a pharmacist, you'd be like, <laughs> you're like, why does he have pills on his tie for? What's your favorite Christmas song? Okay, I always say Silent Night is my favorite Christmas song, but as I'm driving through the town, and I got my Christmas music playing in the car. Every time I hear a song, I'm like, this is my favorite Christmas song. Then the next one comes on. No, 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 it's this no, one. No, this one. The next one. Oh, I don't like this one. No, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I like that part. So you I don't, don't have a favorite? Is I would just say? say Silent Night because it's the song that we sing in our candlelight service because it's just sentimental, I feel like. But have y'all ever heard the song Happiest Christmas Tree? If you haven't, <laughs> stop what you're doing right now. It's by Nat King Cole. And go listen to Happiest Christmas Brett's Tree. Brett's obsessed with that and song you, this Christmas You're season. welcome. It makes me so happy. It makes me appreciate happy Christmas tree. Let me know in the comments below if you've heard that song. I've kind of got two favorite Christmas songs. One's O Come O Come Emmanuel that's kind of like Christmassy Christmassy. And then The Christmas Song by Nat King Cole. I like Hard Candy Christmas by Dolly Parton too a lot. <laughs> Least favorite Christmas song. I really am tired of All I Want For Christmas by Mariah Carey. Like I don't, <laughs> it's not really, really my least favorite one, but like I'm tired of hearing it. Like when I hear it I'm like okay next. I think for me that one's gonna be Santa Baby just because like it gets so repetitive. So Favorite Christmas candy. My favorite Christmas candy is Divinity. I, it's like the only year that I get it. Yours doesn't count. I feel like if you don't eat pecans in your Divinity, your Divinity doesn't count. I don't know if that's like a southern thing, so we put pecans in our Divinity. Jared doesn't like, why? Well, I, I guess you get a pass. You can't have nuts because you're allergic to them. Yeah, that's why I don't have pecans in mine. It's not because I don't like them. Okay, yeah. Never mind. Free pass for Jared. <laughs> I guess is that yours too, your favorite Christmas yeah, candy? Yeah, my, my mama used to make Divinity every Christmas season and growing up, so like that's always been like my best childhood memory of candy. My mama makes divinity and that was the first time I had ever had it was hers. I think it's the only divinity I've ever had in uh, my mama. And it's so good. Me and your mom tried to make it one year for Christmas and it was like an epic <laughs> fail. <laughs> Did not work at all. What Christmas tradition do you want to start with your future children? I think the biggest thing for me is I want to give a gift on Christmas Eve and I want to give us all like matching pajamas so that we all can like get excited about opening a present and like they'll we'll all get matching pajamas and then we can go to sleep in our new pajamas and wake up and all be cute matchy matchy on Christmas morning. And on Christmas Eve, I want to ride around and look for Santa and look at everybody's <laughs> Christmas lights and get hot cocoa and stuff. Because like I feel like if we keep our kids up later, they'll probably sleep in later and they won't be like me and you trying to wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning. So if like we stay out late, we can sleep in a little later. I've got a plan. I don't have kids yet, so all that's completely all not right work. Now. The one that I would want to start with our future kids would be Brett and I are going to talk to Santa and say no matter how many big things they want or whatever, like they only need to be limited to three and that way we can incorporate that into the three wise men bringing three gifts to baby Jesus. Yeah I told Jared that last night he was like I was like man that's a great idea. Because we want to make sure that we keep Christmas religious for us because Christmas whether you think it is or not Christmas is a celebration of the birth of Jesus. To us it is not a commercialized event it, holiday it is the celebration of Jesus Christ and so we want our kids to feel the same way that we do it is us celebrating our Christianity and our beliefs and just like other religions they've got their days Christmas to us is our day it is not about the gifts it's not about all the other stuff we want to keep it pure I mean we want to add all the other stuff in too but we don't want that to overshadow what we believe in so anywhere that we can incorporate Jesus and the meaning of Christmas to Christmas that's what we're going to try to do do y'all do turkey 
vegan stuff on Christmas or have something different. My mom makes turkey, she makes dressing, she makes cream and casserole, she makes pecan pie. Like all those are always a given mm -hmm. every Christmas and Thanksgiving. Well, no, we started a new tradition now. <laughs> I actually don't like Christmas food, not Christmas food, but like Thanksgiving yeah, food at year. all. Like I don't like casseroles. I think turkey's too dry. Like I don't like ham and stuff like that. I don't like anything but chicken nuggets pretty much. So this year we started a new tradition kind of. I think we did it last year too where we all get together and Jared's mom makes regular enchiladas and I make crawfish enchiladas and we all get together and that's what we do on Thanksgiving. So this year on Christmas Jared's mom can make all the like traditional ham, turkey, all that stuff. Because I feel like like this year Christmas is like two weeks after Thanksgiving. Not really. It was a little bit longer than that. But it was just like really really fast. Yeah. So like if you had this this meal it's huge and it's so much work. And so like if you make it here then you have to turn around like two weeks and make it again. Like and you usually eat. I don't but you usually do eat it for like a week after Thanksgiving. So and as soon like as you're done you don't want to turn around and have to do it all over again. And like three different houses too. And then at my mom and dad's house they eat traditional Thanksgiving food on Thanksgiving and then on Christmas Eve is when we do Christmas with my mom and dad. We do steaks. So my dad grills awesome. steaks and my mom makes like all kinds of stuff. Do you buy your dogs Christmas gifts? Absolutely. They're like the first <laughs> the first people. They're people to me. They're the first people I'm that we buy I'm pretty sure for. they really are the first ones that got stuff this year. Yeah. Well, I, buy, I start buying for them in like July. How long do you leave your Christmas decorations up after Christmas? Oh, that was a good one. For us, usually probably about a week and a half, I'd Yeah, say. I think we leave them up like a couple of days after New Year's and then we start taking them down. What's your favorite Christmas movie? So my favorite Christmas movie is... The Grinch. The Grinch and Elf. I literally cannot pick between the two of them. Elf makes me laugh and the Grinch makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Mine's a split between Home Alone and Christmas Story. There's so many good ones though. Like, I love Christmas Vacation. I love Polar Express. I love Home Pol Alone. Polar Express was the first movie Jared and I ever yeah, watched together. It was. Fun fact, Jared actually Jared and I actually started dating on Christmas Eve. So we're like yeah. Christmas babies. Favorite Disney ornament that you own. So I'll put a clip in right here so I can show you. It's just a Mickey glass and it, it has like little gemstones on it. It's so pretty. And it's the only Disney ornament that's on my real tree. <laughs> like my not my one in the office. I love that ornament. I think it's so pretty. It's very Christmassy. Mine is a goofy one and it's goofy carrying a Christmas tree he's cut down with Chip and Dale on it. What are you most excited about Christmas when you get your new house built? I'm most excited about decorating it. <laughs> literally, literally. We are designing our house based on how it can be decorated for Christmas. As crazy as that sounds people, it's actually true. There has to be a place where there's a window on the very front of my house so that I can put a Christmas tree in it so you can see a Christmas tree when you pull into my driveway. There's gotta be a place that I can have a table where I can have a Christmas village. There's gotta be a place that I can put a Christmas in the living room and it doesn't feel cramped. There's, there's gotta, gotta be, be a staircase that's facing down where she can hang garland all the way up and down it. Literally, every, like I would say- There's gotta be a designated spot that will be storage where we can put all the Christmas stuff I have stuff to have a Christmas it. closet. That's downstairs, you don't have to carry don't them up. don't understand how much I love Christmas. I'm designing my forever home around the Christmas holiday. You wanna come see our house, it's at the North Pole. What's on your Christmas list this year? A scope. Which he already got and he knows that he got it because he was with me when he bought it. I'd like some binoculars too. Um, he was also with me when we bought those. <laughs> I don't really have anything on my Christmas list this year. I really like Books A Million, so like... The whole store? That, the whole store is on your Christmas list? Pretty much. Like, Books A Million gift cards and probably the biggest thing is Home Depot gift cards is what I want this year because... That's literally what we're asking all of our parents to get like, us Like, please year. get us Home Depot gift cards because we want to buy... The oven we want is from there. The microwave that we want is from there. So, like, we were, if we can collect these Home Depot gift cards, then it'll kind of help towards, yeah. like, knocking out some of the cost of like appliances and stuff whenever we get our house built. If you could, this I could make this Christmassy. It's not Christmassy, but I like the question enough. If you could build a hidden room in your home, what kind of room would it be? A Christmas room. <laughs> Obviously. Or a library. 
but I really would like a room that would be really fun to yeah. have a room that was hidden that you could keep your tree and all your decorations out all year long so when you're having <laughs> a really bad day and you just need some dang Christmas in your life you could just go sit in there under your Christmas lights in the dead of summer but not bother everybody and make everybody like it's too early for Christmas lights like a festive room of requirement yes a Christmas room of requirement other than that if the Christmas was out of the play I would like it like a hidden library that's what I've always envisioned having not really just like a panic room but like that kind of place where it's like totally you could tucked go away and be secret and, yeah. and calm. Yep. What are some Christmas traditions that you and I have started together? Together, we just kind of like merged our traditions yeah. together. Yeah. Like, cause you always, we were both, we both grew up Methodist, and so his church did a candlelight service, and my church did a candlelight service. So then, when we got married, we just went to my candlelight service. So it's like that was the same thing. Um, he started coming with me to my family's on Christmas Eve. Like, it's just really not anything new. I think the biggest thing is like we decorate our tree together, we listen to music. We don't have any just like set thing we have to do every we time. We wake up now. We finally got to where like we wake up in the morning at our own house. We used to stay yeah. the night at Jared's parents' house. We started like last year as a point of emphasis like we wanted to be in our home and wake up together on Christmas. So Waking since we moved back home. home we always want to be at our home for Christmas morning. Yeah so that's something that we just kind of recently like within the last two years started to do. This will be our third year to wake up in our own house on Christmas. Favorite candy cane flavor? Labor. These are the kind of questions I like. <laughs> Thank you, Kelpeat72. <laughs> my favorite candy cane flavor is, I think the sweet tart ones. They're my favorite like brand of them. But I remember growing up, my favorite time to get a candy cane was usually not at Christmas. I'd always go to Cracker Barrel and get the wintergreen one. I always love that one. I don't like peppermint. So it's I never pepper peppermint. So yours is probably peppermint. Well, yeah, my favorite is peppermint. But I remember as a kid, I really, really liked the one that was different colors blue. Like it was like a light blue, blue and a dark blue. Is that what was that yeah. what it was? Yeah. We kind of already answered this, but I don't think Jared answered it. So, what is your favorite Christmas tradition as a child? Like mine, obviously, was going to my Mimi's house on Christmas yeah. Eve. Like I loved that. I mean, besides that, like, I always went to different grandparents' house, but my mom always let me open one present on Christmas Eve, and usually it would be something kind of small, but still, yeah. it was like, I'd always get to open one on Christmas Eve. And then the second part of that would be on Christmas Day, like, there was this Santa box that sh I would have like every single year that would have something in it And I remember mom keeping that from the time that I was little up until almost as old as I can remember Do you still have it? Does she still I, don't, have it? I don't know if she still has it or not if it finally like tore Gave up it out. Yeah, but literally we'll like totally, it. totally wore it out to the point And she'd always put something in it? Every year Oh. Let's do that. <laughs> so like, what's an example of something that she would put in it for you? Like a shirt or something kind of small. What makes Christmas feel like Christmas to y'all? Um, to me, it's the music and the smells and the light and the feel. Like the, you just have, it's like, you're like hormones that are happy. Thanks. Whatever that hormone is that makes you like happy, there's like extra of those coming around and about in your body during Christmas time. Like endorphins. I just, endorphins. There's extra endorphins that are happening around Christmas time so you feel extra extra happy for me it's like I don't think it really feels like Christmas until I've watched Polar Express well <laughs> and we've not watched Polar Express this season yet it doesn't so. feel like Christmas to you yet? yeah like it does but uh, there's like this certain feeling that once I watch it it's like okay this it's like Christmas. it's like really here now this is a good one do you prefer Christmas Eve or Christmas Day we definitely I think both prefer Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve so Jared works in a hospital and so there's gonna be a lot of times that he has to work on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and so like if he had to pick which one he would work it would definitely be Christmas Day because to me yeah. Christmas Eve is where the magic is it's like the, the going to sleep waiting for Santa it's the putting out the cookie it's Christmas Day after about 9 a.m. over that's a wrap sadness <laughs> sets in like it's over like it's over and then I'm like no, it can't be over yet. I'm not ready. Like, and so then I get really, really depressed. I feel like I get so sad on Christmas Day. Like, I'm like, this sucks. I'm going to be Christmas Day forever. Oh, I just get so sad. Like, I actually really do not like Christmas Day. It's actually probably one of my least favorite days of the year because it's the end of my favorite holiday. It's over. And then you're like, well, time to count down the end of this year. And then you're like, oh. 
I get so sad when I see a year end because I'm so used to writing it. I don't like change and so like I get really anxiety ridden I guess at Christmas. Why do you like Christmas Eve over Christmas Day? For us that's just I feel like where most of our traditions are now. Everything we do I feel Christmassy Christmassy happens on Christmas Eve. Or before. Like on Christmas Day it's like there's no tradition. It's yeah I mean like, it's like we wake up. We wake up. We go to my mom's but besides that it's like once we're done with that the rest of the day it's like okay I guess what we're What am I supposed to do? I like once you open your presents and stuff we're just it's like hang out at home now. Favorite Christmas movie soundtrack. Mine is 1,000 bajillion quadrillion percent the Grinch. All right, what's yours? Rudolph the Red Nose. <laughs> For me, like, I don't know if there actually is a soundtrack, but I feel like a lot of the music from Home Alone, like, I'll hear a song and be like, ooh, that's in Home Alone. If it has one, then I guess that one. What's your favorite Christmas ornament on your Christmas tree? Mine is a turtle dove. I got me and my mom both a white turtle dove when we were in New York like two, three years ago when, and I got it at a Christmas shop that was right beside the Wellington. And it was just a little packet and it had two turtle doves in it. And I was just like, this is the best thing in the whole wide world. Like I'm in New York city and I'm getting two <laughs> turtle doves. And so it was just like perfect. I brought one home to my mom. And so it's my favorite ornament. It's one that I put on my tree and she puts on her tree like every year. Like it's just like a friendship bracelet, but a Christmas ornament, which is Mine is a ornament that we got for when we got married from my aunt. It has uh, our picture, our, has our picture on it and it has the date on it and because it's from my aunt, I love my aunt. Oh, Aunt Wanda. We <laughs> love us some Aunt Wanda. What is your favorite Christmas cookie to make? I like sugar cookies. They're just my favorite cookie, hands down. I guess gingerbread cookies would be really fun too because mm, you can make Mine's gingerbread. So you can make a gingerbread cute. Yeah. Favorite Christmas food? What's something special your family makes for the holiday? We make these, like, they're like grape jelly and chili sauce meatballs I don't know what they're called we just call them like meatballs, meatballs. <laughs> that's it but it's like grape jelly and chili sauce they are so good make sure you're watching vlogmas because I actually have to make them tomorrow night yes I'll show you how to make them if you want to know but they're so good oh my gosh I could sit over the crock pot and eat the whole thing and they only get made like during Thanksgiving and Christmas in our house which is unfortunate because they're so good. My mom always makes sweet potato casserole every year. And, and it's good. It's so good. Do you ever deal with feeling sad at Christmas? Yes. And I feel like for for Jared and I both, the reason is the same. Yeah. Is Jared and I were both very close to our grandparents. Um, I was very close to my grandmother and Jared was very close to both of his grandparents. My Mimi's favorite holiday was Christmas and she is the reason that I am like a little elf myself. It's because she just like instilled all of her love and holly and jolly into me for the holidays. And so it gets really sad because Christmas to me is just full of her. Yeah, and also part of that is like when we go to, to Christmas Eve service now. Like I've like done it every year with her. And so now, when it's just like me and my mom and Jared, yeah. it just feels like, like I can't wait to have like 52 kids so I can at least <laughs> fill up a pew. Like, it makes me sad that it's just uh, another part of my family, like they do Christmas Eve at another part of my family's, and I always have to pick between the two. And I hate missing this because I don't see these people except on like Christmas. But if I don't go sit with my mom, my dad sings in the choir. So if I don't sit with her, there's nobody that is sitting with her. Like, so, I mean, we always do that. The last question is, would you ever spend Christmas at Disney? Hell to the no! <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Absolutely not. You could not pay me. You could not fly me. You could not gift me. You could not nothing me. Uh, Nada. Nothing on earth. You could give me all the fast passes in the world to be there then and I wouldn't no, do it. There is nothing on earth that would convince me to walk anywhere near a Disney I would park never want. I wish your dad was here to answer that question too. That's exactly how I would answer it. <laughs> Hell, Hell no. no. So anyways, no. <laughs> Is that it? You got any more questions you want to answer? Oh, one more question. Oh, hang on. I always skipped a question. There's one more. Hot chocolate or apple cider? I would, I've always said hot <laughs> chocolate before, but now 100% Wilderness Lodge apple cider. I don't know, but that hot chocolate at Wilderness Lodge was really good too. It's the best hot chocolate I've ever had and the best apple cider I've ever had. Here's the thing. It's still probably apple cider. Most of the time I would say hot chocolate. But it's like if you give me the best cup of hot chocolate and the best cup of warm apple cider, I'm going to take the apple cider. Yeah, so probably so apple yeah. cider for both of those. And it's like you can drink hot chocolate at any time when it's cold. Mm -hmm. I feel like cider is like an actual like seasonal thing. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our Q&A. But we've got a question for you, and it is if you could be in any Christmas film, 
which one would it be in? And leave us the comment down below of which oh, one you would pick. A that's a good one, huh? Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We love you very much. Very Merry Christmas to you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, y'all.